Merry Christmas everybody, it's your boy Hoi back with another video as you can see by my uniform I'm at work right now I just got told that we don't start until 2.15 so I have another 15 minutes to spare and I don't want, want to be stuck inside that box so I'm going for a walk such a nice beautiful day sunny weather uh, this is winter in australia white christmas yeah just just look at it it's freaking beautiful i don't want to waste this day gotta enjoy every moment of it and which brings us to the topic of today. I wouldn't have been here without antidepressants. You know, when I first had my mental breakdown and things started going downhill, there's this shame within me and fear that if I do survive, my attempts and continue to live I basically would be disabled for the rest of my life that's why I thought and I didn't want to be like that I thought either I succeed or I become a failure and being a cripple for life that's why I thought so when the doctors put me on antidepressants that was it that was the end <laughs> that's that's the end of my that was a huge hit to my ego it, and it's funny because I'm wearing glasses right now it's like I'm admitting to the world that I need visual aids I have to pay in order to see the world basically and I have no problems with that I have no problem being full eyes but I have a problem with taking antidepressants it just doesn't make sense how I can how can I have such view that if you're taking antidepressants, suddenly you're incapable of dealing with life? Meanwhile, I'm still wearing glasses and people are still taking blood pressure medications and antibiotics, all these different drugs to treat their illness. You know, I have a really hard time with psychiatric medications. For the longest time, I thought they are just placebos. People are taking them um, and are able to function because they think that the medications work. That's the view I had for a long time, but that's not the case. I don't think I would be even half the person I am today if I hadn't taken my meds. And this is not a video about um, about me preaching to you guys and saying that medications is the solution to all your problems. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying you have to have to try it um, and just have faith in it I do agree that over prescribing and over diagnosing is an issue in healthcare and that a lot of the teenagers out there are being prescribed drugs that they don't really need um, medications to treat things that could easily be improved with 
having a vigorous exercise routine, eating clean and um, forming healthy social relationships. Just by doing those things and staying off social media, just go out into the nature, um, taking a walk in the park, even having a pet, all those things could easily fix a person with mild symptoms of depression. You don't need these hardcore drugs <laughs> to feel better about yourself. But then if you're, you've reached that point in your life where you're the lowest and you've been hospitalized and um, you had all these specialists looking after you and um, they reckon you need medications, then just accept it, man. It's not the end of the world. I know I'm going to be on this medication for a long time. Who knows, I might even be taking it for the rest of my life. And it's not a sign of weakness at all. What about those athletes who have diabetes? They have to take insulin, but they're still world-class athletes. There are many of them. They're not less capable than anyone at their own sport. Same as you. Treat of treat taking your antidepressants like if you're four-eyed like me it's like wearing glasses you're paying <laughs> to enjoy life and if it makes your life better then what's wrong with taking them yeah that's all I have to say and um, yeah I hope you're all having a safe and wonderful Christmas with your family. Stay strong and God bless.